everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hello, Emma. Hey, what's on your arm? Well, I was running around in the house and I hit my arm on a table yesterday and now I have this red bruise. Yikes, Emma. That looks like it really hurt. Yeah, it really did, Auntie. So, Auntie, why do we get bruises anyway? Good question, Emma. Well, to understand why we get bruises, we first have to understand our blood and what's in it. Blood is made up of molecules called hemoglobin, which is what makes blood its nice red color. Well, hemoglobin is like a big taxi that takes oxygen to and from the body. Remember our talk about the circulatory system? Yeah, Auntie, I do. Well, oxygen comes into the body through the lungs and is delivered to our blood through the heart and this freeway of blood vessels. So when oxygen comes in and sees hemoglobin in the blood vessel, it says, um, hello, can you pick me up, please? I have to go places, says oxygen. Sure thing, says hemoglobin. Oxygen then straps onto the hemoglobin molecule and it is taken to different organs of the body that might need it. Wow, Auntie, that's great. But what does that have to do with bruising? Well, everything, Emma, but I'll explain. Okay, so when you hit your arm on the table, you hit the small blood vessels under your skin called capillaries, which cause them to make a small tear. When that happens, out leaks blood formed of hemoglobin, Auntie. Yes. So when the capillary breaks, hemoglobin starts pooling under your skin. And this will turn the color of the blood. What color? Red, Auntie. Yes. But how come bruises turn purple and brown? Good question, Emma. So remember how I told you oxygen likes to strap onto the hemoglobin molecule and be taxied around the body? Yes, Auntie. Okay, so when your capillary breaks under your skin, hemoglobin holding oxygen rushes out of the blood vessel and pools under your skin. Because of all the hemoglobin and oxygen together, the bruise starts this nice red color. But over time, after about one to two days, the oxygen starts to disappear. You see, oxygen needs hemoglobin to move around the body, and once it falls off, it has nowhere to go. Over time, the blood that is pooled under your skin loses its oxygen, and then that nice red color starts to turn blue, purple, or even black. No oxygen, no more red color. Then, after about another five to 10 days, the body sees this leftover hemoglobin sitting under your skin and says, hey, clean up under Emma's arm, please. We don't want leftover hemoglobin over here. So the body starts breaking down the hemoglobin to clean it up. And as the hemoglobin is broken down further and further, it releases other molecules called bilirubin and biliverdin, which give us that yellow green color. Then after about 10 to 14 days, most of the hemoglobin is gone and the bruise turns a light brown color and then fades away. Wow, Auntie, who knew there was so much going on under my arm? Yep. So you see, Emma, we can tell how old a bruise is by its color. Fun fact, Emma, if you were to apply an ice pack and pressure on the area that you hit right away, it can actually slow down the bleeding coming out of the broken blood vessel, making it heal faster. So once you hit somewhere that you know could cause a bruise, make sure you put an ice pack on it right away. Got it, Auntie. Emma, I think I know just the song to help us remember how bruises heal and their color. Let's hear it, Auntie.
Hi, Bruce. All right, time to go outside and play, Auntie. All right, you got it. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.